All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel and to some more turkey patterning. And I've got a new choke out here today that we haven't tried and one that I'm really interested to see how well it does. Thinking we're gonna see some pretty good results, but there's only one way to find out and that's to test it and see. And just to mention real quick, I am working with a little bit different microphone today, testing it out. So if the audio is a little bit different than usual, I'm still working it out and playing with all the settings and stuff. So I do apologize if there's anything funny there. But as for the setup I've got out here today, I've brought back out my Mossberg 500 410 turkey again however i picked up a new choke for it this is an indian creek 385 constriction turkey choke now, i've really been wanting to try out one of these indian creeks for the 410 to see what they could do the indian creeks have always done well from what i've seen in the 12 gauge so i was definitely curious to see what they would be able to do out of a 410 and when they finally got some of these back in stock i picked one up as quick as i could so we've got the 385 constriction out here today which has seemed to work well through this gun before so i'm definitely curious to see what it can do and as for the shell we've got out here today, we've got another pretty good performer that we know is reliable through a lot of different chokes. And that round is some of the Herders 410 TSS loads. These are a three inch, three quarter ounce load of TSS nines going about 1100 feet per second. And these loads have definitely shown to be some good performers and probably the best ones you're gonna get straight off the shelf. So I'm thinking we should see a pretty good pattern out of today's combination with these two. So with that being said, everything's gonna to be the same as usual i have the turkey target set up at 40 yards i also have the chronograph set up so we'll be able to see our actual speed that we get from that particular shell so let's get you guys set up with the view of this target and i'll head up and we'll take the shot we'll look at what kind of chrono speed we had and then we'll go down range and see how they actually performed so let's head over here and shoot them and see what this new indian creek 385 can do with these herders tss loads All right, so that shell gave us 1177 through the chrono. The box was claiming 1100, so we definitely saw the box claim and a little bit more, which if I'm remembering correctly, that's kind of about what we normally see is a little bit above the box claim for these herder shells. So nothing too strange up here, but how did that Indian Creek actually shoot down range? Let's go take a look and see. All right, so now we're down here at our 40 yard paper and this is what we got. Now we were a touch low and maybe a touch to the right I'd say but we do still have a dead bird there are five or six along the spine there so he would have absolutely been dead but if we back up and look at the whole pattern here I'm not gonna lie I was expecting a little bit better than that I mean is it terrible no not necessarily it's definitely not the worst we've ever seen I can tell you that and would it take a bird out to 40 yards yeah absolutely but we don't really see a super hot core area. I mean, the hottest part of the pattern honestly kind of looks like what's on the actual bird there. The rest of it is a little bit more open and a little bit more patchy than what I would expect or like to see, really. I mean, we do have a couple voids, like right where his beard enters his chest there, and several more out along the bottom right edge of this paper here. So is it an amazing pattern? No, I wouldn't say so, and we've definitely seen a whole lot better out of these herder shells than this. So this is definitely a little bit on the surprising side. Now again, is it terrible? No, not necessarily. Would it kill a bird out to 40 yards? Yeah, absolutely. But for a combination of an Indian Creek choke and the herder shells that have shown some great performance so far, even through a 385 constriction, I was expecting a little bit better than that, I'm not gonna lie. So, I don't know on this one. Is it terrible? No, but definitely not the best we've seen, which is definitely pretty surprising for this combination, I'd say. All right, and here's the wad we got out of that shell. And as you can see, we do have one pedal that looks like it might have snagged on something or something, I don't know, but it does stick out a little bit farther and it does have a little bit of a tear in it right there. So maybe that's why we saw a little bit of a weird looking pattern or a pattern that wasn't quite as good as what we were hoping for. I don't know, but either way, I mean, there's nothing stuck down in there. It's hard to see with the shadows, but there's nothing down in there. And the other two pedals look pretty much perfectly fine or perfectly normal anyway. So I don't know on this one. Maybe it caught something in that choke on the way out, but definitely pretty interesting to see i suppose all right well y'all what do you think about that performance once again 
I was kind of expecting a little bit better and definitely hoping for a little bit better, I'd say. But that's definitely not quite what we saw here. Now, is it the worst pattern we've seen out of a 410? Absolutely not. Would it do the job out to 40 yards? Yeah, it would. But with that combination, I definitely would have thought we would have seen a little bit better of a pattern than that. But as always, I mean, let me know your thoughts about it. Is that about what you expected to see? Or were you kind of like me and thinking we should probably see a little bit better than that? Leave all your thoughts about it down in the comments. And let me know what other loads you might want to see through this choke and see if it shoots better with a different load, which it might, it might not. I don't know, but let me know what you guys want to see. But with that being said, I've got a couple more things to film for y'all, so I'm going to get back to it. Stay tuned. We've got plenty more stuff coming and a bunch of new stuff as well that you're not going to want to miss. So stick around for all that. As always, we do have the channel Instagram as well as a mailbox where you can send things to the channel if you would like. All that information will be in the description if you're interested, but I'm going to get back to it. So I'll see y'all in the next one.